In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, we help some happy honey makers fix their regional performance. Want to see what all the buzz is about? Stay tuned to find out. The Bee Party is a conservation-focused organization which provides data scientists, researchers, farmers, and agricultural companies with the data they need to help preserve the mighty honeybee. Since their efforts had now achieved critical mass, their technology team started getting complaints from their global regions that data access was slower than desired. Now, regional performance is a common problem because, you know, physics. But if the network has been set up properly, this shouldn't be an issue. Anyhow, when we talk about latency, one of the most important things we must remember is that it's a function of physics. Uh, the speed of light traveling through a fiber optic cable takes roughly about 10 milliseconds to travel about 1,000 kilometers. So the further away you are from your destination, the higher your latency. This is why Google Cloud Platform places new data centers in various regions around the world. The goal is to find the sweet spot between distance, latency, and disaster tolerance. To get a sense of this behavior, I set up an instance in each GCP region and ping them for my desktop machine here in Austin, Texas, about 100 times. As expected, the farther away the instance is, the worse the latency to it. But I'm just one data point. Probably more important is to understand the performance between each region, which is was straightforward to test. We already had the instances set up in each region, so we just had to measure the throughput from one location to each other location. From this graph, we can clearly see that the Europe West to Asia East and the US West to Asia East are some of the lowest throughput connections, while any of the US to US connections have some of the highest throughput. Now that we have an understanding of baseline performance, let's try to figure out how the B party is set up. And as always, I start with logging data. Looking at the user agents fields of our logs, we can see that most of their requests are coming from desktop connections. This is good since it means we're not getting skewed results due to 2G or 3G connection speeds. No worries there. When we drill in some, we can see the slower traces, we can start to see a consistent pattern. Most of the highest density and latency traces are coming from areas in Japan. This threw up a big red flag for me since I knew that the B party was a nonprofit company stationed out of Europe. A quick phone call with their CTO confirmed this. The B party is based out of Germany and they deploy all their GCE instances in the European region. Well, of course, there's our problem. The majority of their clients are coming from Japan, while the instances are only deployed in Europe. From our previous graph, we saw that this was already one of the lowest performing connections. The solution for the B party was quite clear. They need to deploy instances of their VMs in regions closer to their primary user base, which requires us to change two things. Firstly, is creating a new instance group for the Asia East region, so that researchers in Japan can be connecting to the closest instances possible. Secondly, is putting together a global HTTP load balancer whose job is to route requests to the nearest healthy instances. This way, clients in Japan get their packets routed to the Asia East cluster rather than having to go all the way to Europe for it. Uh, oh, by the way, did you know that Japan has one of the most awesome type of honeybee on the planet? The Japanese honeybee has a unique defense for fighting predatory wasps. They swarm it, hug it, and start vibrating fast enough to raise the internal heat of their bee ball to 117 degree Fahrenheit, killing the hornet but leaving the bees unharmed. Which you gotta admit, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyhow, if you'd like to improve the performance of your cloud applications, don't forget to check out the rest of our Cloud Performance Atlas content. And when it comes to the environment, remember, every honeybee counts. Mm -hmm.